cascade of interventions, well, see, so you go to the hospital either in labor or to be induced. When you get there, they give you medications to make your labor either start or to make your labor faster to get it over with. When, once they start those medications, your pain increases to a level that is intolerable because these are contractions that are stronger than you would have ever experienced naturally. Once you start to have that pain, you ask for medication because it hurts, right? They either give you IV meds or probably an epidural. Once you get that epidural, your body relaxes and that labor slows down. Then once your labor slows down, they got to give you more meds to get your labor back going again because they need you out of that bed because there's somebody else that needs to get in that bed so they can make some more money, right? Because it's about money. It's about money. All right. Once they've given you those meds to get that labor going again, the pain gets even worse. You have to increase the, the medications to relieve the pain, which then relaxes the labor further. We got to do more Pitocin to get it going a little bit faster. And eventually your baby just can't take it anymore because this labor is too strong. It is stronger than that baby ever was designed to be able to tolerate. So it goes into distress. And once it's in distress, all the interventions start to try to make that baby be okay, all the way up to and including a C-section. That C-section that you would have never needed had you never set foot in that hospital to start with, because if you had never set foot in that hospital to start with, none of those interventions, that cascade couldn't have ever happened.